Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create this dynamic block of the drainage channel. Basically you can control the length, you can switch between different types and you can also adjust the width manually and you can also have a text that auto updates based on the type you select. Without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing we will need is a box so we can control it, the shape of the drainage channel. So let's draw a box. Usually I do it 10 meters by, not 10 meters, apologies, 150 by 2 meters. Now I'm going to move it so it can be at 0, 0 because that's where I usually draw my box. So the base point can appear there. But in our case, we will define a new base point. So select the box, type block and let's name it drainage channel and hit OK. Let's make our units are correct and yeah, they're in meters. Let's make sure it's millimeters and let's go to block editor and make sure the units as well here are in meters. So we need a grip to control the length. The width we will control it through the properties panel, the type also through the properties panel but also we would like like a drop down menu from here. So let's start with the length. To do that we need the parameter linear and we're gonna do it from the top to the other top and left click. We're gonna select the parameter and in the properties panel we're gonna change the distance name to length. Now, then we will need a base point and uh, let's go parameters, base point and also put it at zero, zero. Now, if we go to and close the block editor, you will see that nothing happened. So we need to tell the parameter that this is the action. That's why we have this tab actions. So we want to stretch. So we select our parameter because asking us to select parameter. Now specify the parameter point. So I want this point to do first and sorry, stretch. We select our parameter to ask us which point we want either this one or this one we want this point and now it's asking us to specify the first corner of the stretch frame so i want to stretch it after the half and then i'm gonna select all this and hit enter i'm gonna do the same for the other side so stretch select the parameter select the side after the half select it and select the objects you want to move so now if i go close block editor save changes you can see i've got now the grips however the base point is not moving. So if I make it shorter, you can see base point is there. I want it to be there. How do we fix that? Let's go back to block editor. Basically want when it stretches the base point to move as well, but all the half the distance, because let's say this is two meters, right? So if we move by one meter, one meter, if we move this one by one meter, won't be in the half. We need to move it by half a meter. So we need a, par a parameter of point that we can control. And what we're gonna do is Wherever we are moving this bit to the left, we want the position also to be stretched. So if you go to length, click on this one, right click, action select, modify. So we want to do it again from there to there. And we're going to select the objects, which are these ones, but also we're going to select the position and the box, not the base point, the box only. Hit enter and we're going to do it for the other side as well. So modify selection, we want to start from there all the way to there. We want to select these two, the position, and the box only head enter now if we close block editor you can see nothing is happening because as we did previously when you don't assign an action to the parameter it what the grips will not appear so the action one assigned to position is move so we click on move select the position and select the objects we want to move we want to move the base point so hit enter so now if we close block editor, save changes, you can see this is the move that moves our base point. But let's reset it just so I can show you. If I move, it didn't move the base point. Now, the reason it didn't move it, and uh, you will hate me for going in and out of the block editor, is just so I can show you each thing. So if we go to position, we need to enable chain actions. So yes, let's close block editor and save changes. Now you can see that it's moving with it the base point is right there however we said we want it to be in the middle so if we reset block let's move it another two meters the midpoint is right there but our parameter is right there so to fix that in the move button we don't want if we stretch it by one meter we don't want to move it by one meter we want to move it by half so in the distance multiplier in the properties we put 0.5 and then what i'm gonna do is 
turn off the grip so I don't want to see the box of the move anymore so if I close block editor now you can see that the base point is always in the middle whichever side I move it so the next item is to control the width to do that I find easier to use auto constrain select my box so it constrains it and then aligned I select the top bit all the way to the bottom and then I change the D1 to width. It doesn't accept spaces here in the naming, so be cautious of that. And now if I go to close block editor, save changes, just so we can see what we've created. You can see that the width here, let's say we will change it to one, it changes from here, but also we can change it through there. Let's say, see, you can change. Also you can control it from there, five. So if we go to block editor, I don't want this to be there. So I'm just gonna turn it off. So in the selected parameter, number of grips, turn off. So now I want the drop down button that will show me the different types that I can define. So to do that in the block editor, there is this thing called block table. I'm gonna select it. Let's put it at the top. And then asking me the number of grips, I want one grip. And now we need to define a new parameter which is this button here. And we're gonna call it type and it will be a string. And we're gonna add a the param existing parameters, which is the width. And now we're gonna say, if the par type is standard, I want the width to be 150, for example, or 100. If the type is Q max, I want the width to be 150. If let's say, let's say Q max 150 actually. Let's say if it's a slot drain, I want this one to be, let's say 0 0.05, just an example. If I close block editor and let's reset our block, you can see that if I move this Qmax 150 is already 150 slot drain. It makes it smaller standard. So that's all great. Now, do I want to move the base point? Not really, because then it will become too close to the arrow and then you might misclick. So might as well just keep it that way. I think it's pretty fine. And there you have it. So now you can have the standard and you can change it to Qmax or you can type your custom one. For example, let's say Qmax 225. And when you select drain channel, you say, oh, Qmax 225. Oh, let me change the width to 225, for example. Let's say if that's how you work. Why the type is useful is when you add a text, let's add a text and let's just scale it slightly down. When we add a text, I want the text to show that what type is it so if i delete this and control f on my keyboard in field category drop down to objects select object in the object type click on this one to select the object select your block and you can see that we have the type now the width and everything it picks it up see it's custom now so type it's custom it won't appear because we did not specify the qmax 225 however what we can do is once i change it let's say to a standard one and a region you can see standard Qmax 150, Qmax 150. So you can do it that way. Or you can simply just get rid of, of the, let's view the table. You can get rid of that column. And let's say you wanna have the type only and delete all this. Let's delete, let's, let's delete all this. And close block editor, save changes. So now if I region, if I do it, let's say two to five, and region it updates because it's no longer within the list there is no list and therefore if you put something custom it won't appear as custom anymore so you can do it that way as well if you want so qmax to five and then all, all you can do is if you don't want to see the grip you just select the grip and just say sorry select the table and say number of grips zero and now all you can do is just control everything from the properties panel so i want it to be 300 and you can go 300 so that way you don't have to worry about it was like oh i need to specify the width of etc now the final touch is to add the little grids in the middle so that the way i do it is just by using a hatch with the select command so i select the hatch i change the hatch to uns 131 angle 45 and then i change it to 0.25 no 0 0.25 and if i close block editor you can see now I have a nice hatch and then I can change it, let's say to 150. You can even change this one, let's say, just to show the width, for example. I wanna show the width, where is it? Width factor, there you go. So it's 150, you can adjust the digits and everything. So there you have it. If you like this video, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so you can stay notified when I upload new videos. I'll see you in the next one.